Okay, so we just, did you hear that beep? There we go. Okay, sieve shaker just finished. I'll do a 10 minute shake with a sieve stack of 2040 in the pan. Now we just pull that out. Okay, so here we go. Sieve stack. I'm going to bring it, uh, I'll show you here. Okay, here's a sieve stack. Here's our scale to one decimal place. So we take the top two off because what we're interested in is what's in the pan. These are crush test fines. Okay, so it's the, it's the material that crushed down and ended up in the pan. Okay, so I'm going to record uh, what we have is the mass. Okay, now what we do is we take the, I pre-recorded uh, the mass of the pan by itself, clean. So I subtract the mass I'm reading on the scale. Uh, or I take the mass I'm reading on the scale, subtract the pan, now I divide that by the original mass, 36.774, and I get 8.2%. So at Okay, so here's how it reads. At uh, 4,000 PSI, this 2040 produced 8.2% fines. Uh, the API recommendation for 2040 crushed at 4,000 PSI is to produce no more than 14%. So um, this would probably have a K value of only 4K, but it does meet the initial API uh, recommendation for uh, crush testing for 2040. So, all in all, uh, we went from uh, beginning to end for a, a crush test. And uh, if you have any questions about the testing process, uh, leave them in the comments below and we'll do what we can to address them and answer them. Uh, the best we uh, we can. So uh, this is Brandon Deshaw for Global Energy Laboratories, and this has been a, a demonstration of a frac sand crush resistance test. <laughs>